Steve, the, the material that's laid down on top of this granite, uh, describe it to me. Where did, where did it come from? Well, mostly it's quartz and felspar grains. And the quartz and felspar grains are like what is in the granite below. What was ground up from the what granite? What was ground up from the granite. So the milling of the granite could produce the major grains in the tapete sandstone overlying this great unconformity. But the, the minor minerals, what we call heavy minerals, the, these minerals, uh, some of them, the heavy minerals, are different and uh, don't occur in the granite underneath. So they must have come some. They come else. from somewhere else. And that brings a big mystery. Not every mineral in the Tapit sandstone can come from a local source. And so there must be a distant source of sand grains. And some of these dark black heavy uh, grains have been found in the Great Lakes region and over in the Appalachian region. And so maybe that's the direction from which the major quantities of this sand came.